Right now you're gonna watch me create and perform a song using only a bunch of random sounds that were recorded and sent in to me by my friends and followers. This is my first ever interactive live remix. What's up, this is DJ Inferno. Welcome to DJ Inferno TV. And if you're new here, make sure you hit the subscribe button and ring the bell if you're a music tech nerd like myself. So usually when I'm creating a live remix performance set, it takes a lot of time and effort to create the instruments. That means loading up Ableton Live's drum racks with samples that I can trigger with machine. And it also means loading up instrument racks using keyboard sounds that I can trigger with a MIDI keyboard. But for the live remix that you're about to watch in this video, I did things differently. This is an interactive live remix. That means that every single sound that you hear from the drum sounds to the vocal sounds to the keyboard sounds to the bass and lead sounds, these were all created using samples that were recorded and sent in to me by my friends and followers. So big shout out to everybody that did send me audio and video. I think you're gonna like the way this turned out. Before I show you the performance, I wanna show you how it's possible to take a bunch of random sounds and create instruments out of them. We're gonna watch the setup first, then you're gonna watch the performance at the end. First, I'm gonna start off with all the samples that I use to make the drums. One of the most important components of your drum kit, the kick. So to create the kick drum, I took a recording of Chris tapping on the dashboard of his car. Kick drum. Hit it, Chris. Next, I needed a snare or some clap sounds, so I used some claps that DJ Easy had sent me and stacked them. Yeah. So for the hi-hat, I used a vocal sample that says, it's perfect, and that was by Ariel. Shout out to Ariel. And I took the T at the end of the perfect and turned that into a hi-hat. It's perfect. perfect. This little section here. So I asked for a bunch of people to send me sounds of them tapping on random objects. So some of them chose to tap on some metal and glass. And we have this. as well. Like this. Just actually cut that out over there, back down. So right now I got DJ Easy hitting a bunch of random things that I turned into percussion sounds. Let's use this right here. Cut that. So I also knew that I'd want to have some sort of 808 sub kick in the drum kit to go along with the regular kick. So to create that, I used the bass that I had just made and ran it through Ableton Live 10's new drum bus. On this bass, let's use drum bus. And uh, let's go boom and then boom and A and see if that works. And last, I don't know if this counts for drums, but uh, Sean sent me this cool sample of him, I guess, spinning a coin. Let's listen to this. So I definitely knew I wanted to use that in the song. So next up are the vocal samples. And you can see how I took each one of these recordings and kind of gave it a little bit more character and presence. Uh, I'm mad at. Uh, I'm mad at. But, but when it plays, but, but when it plays. Then did a little bit of double bit like that. But when it plays, but, but when it plays. DJ Inferno, DJ Inferno, DJ Inferno. Let's go, let's go, let's go. It's getting hot, man. That's good, that's... It's perfect. 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 So I knew I'd want to be able to play keyboard in this video, so I found some sounds and were able to turn one simple sound into a bass, which I assigned to the left side of my keyboard, and another simple sound into a lead, which I assigned to the right side of my keyboard. Ooh, ooh, ooh. So... We'll use this as a bass then. Change the to one. Turn into one. Let's take this and let's move a little bit here at about uh, maybe 45. Or so that's our bass. The boop is our bass. All right, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take some auto tune and we're gonna put it on uh, DJ Crumbs. A, 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 Asia. Jelly, belly, jelly, jelly. Put that in there. 
Next up are a couple of really cool effects that I created. Uh, one is a down sweep effect that I created out of a nursery rhyme that was sent in to me by DJ Crumbs that he made for his daughter. Asia Marie, cute as can be, big ol' booty with a jelly belly, ay, ay. And if we took that and then doubled it. The other one is this sort of like down pitching effect that I made out of the sound of what sounds like something scraping on metal. So once again, thanks to everybody that sent me sounds. That's the setup. This is the performance. I hope you like it. That's it for my first interactive live remix video. I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed making it for you. Hit me up in the comments, let me know what you thought, and if you have any ideas for future live remix videos, let me know there as well. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe, ring the notification bell so you don't miss a thing, hit the thumbs up, you know what to do. I will see you in three weeks. I'm gonna take a break for Christmas, and I'll be back January 4th, 2019. This is DJ Inferno, this is DJ Inferno TV, and I'll see you next time.